Welcome one. Hello, everyone. Come all to the greatest show this side of the Astro Plane. A champion of a rival arena making their debut here in our own. The Scourge of Bayless Picks. Yes, this is my let's play of The Black Pits 2. So, I ended the last one attempting to do the, uh, Legacy of Ball difficulty, but, uh, was not successful with that, because I'm apparently just not at all that good at it. Of course, even naming it the end of Legacy of Ball playthrough. I'm going to say it's been, uh... But, uh, going into this new game, I will use my old group, using the core rules. Obvious idea why it's been several months since your escape from Baelos Black Pits. Tales of your deeds of something or other. And so it came to Baelus game was quickly turned to naught. The swords are sheathed, the spells and weed, the battle the final battle fought, our hero's wits uh, had solved the she fled the caves of myths, Baelus rage upon a mighty djinn. Decent yawn, though a bit too fantastic if you ask me. Thank you. It is an amazing tale, all the more for the fact that it actually happened. You're a talented entertainer, madam, but do not insult my intelligence. The story you told is not but a story. It never happened. It sounds fantastic. I know, but it is true. I can prove it. Unless I'm much mistaken, the champion of Bale's Pits is among us this very minute. Everyone say hello to Beretta, our tale's protagonist in the flesh. Uh, it is true. How did you know it was me? Oh boy. I'm being captured. I found you, and not a moment too soon. You're in danger. Danger, I tell you. Najim, what's going on? I was attacked by a group of bounty hunters. Before I escaped, I heard they say your name. I came to warn you. Well, let me guess. These... You're safe now. Wait, something is wrong. We're in an ambush. Yeah, uh, surprise, surprise. I'd actually played this before, so I kind of know what to expect. Prepare yourselves. The bounty hunters are upon us. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna get murdered. Careful. I suspect the bard's not really a bard. <laughs> yeah. I am a bard. The name's Joker. And the joke? I'm afraid it's on you. You should have stayed out of this, genie. Guilty consciences are unhealthy. You will not take me alive. I am at peace with that. We came here for Bretta. You are expendable. No, I'm keeping... No, I'm keeping this one for myself. Do what you want, Dormanus. Don't let us let. Don't let another target escape. Another? You blame me for your failures, Fask. What? What's that supposed to mean? Would you two like to fight while our bounty escapes, or can we get down to business? But uh, we're attempting to capture you. Battle your way to freedom, or become a captive once again. Yeah, I don't think I'm surviving this particular battle. Also, I know a plot contrivance when I see one. Uh, very well, I will go with you for now. Bind and ready them for transport. Jenatin will pay us handsomely for these ones. Naturally. Hit? By the orc father's leafy ass. I've never met a woman who could drink like that. <laughs> one minute I'm singing with an ale in one hand and a wench in the other, then I wake up here. 
It's a night in hell, am I? I have the foggiest idea. Aye, well, if you find out where the food, ale, and women are, come back and tell Volkill. Sure. So, it's been yes. quite an age since I played, uh, played this game. So, you're some kind of monk. Like I've already programmed you to the way I want. You know, I had a paperwork uh, describing exactly what I wanted to do with you guys. I can't for the life of me remember what any of it was. Uh, okay. Additional hit points gained. Three! What is it? It will be done. Uh, so... Ah, the more coin for it. I do not mind if I do. Speak. Sir. Certainly. There's nothing we can do. Yes, all spells have been disrupted. We are at their mercy. You are all weak, or cowards, or both. I am a master of teleportation. I can and will escape this dungeon. Do not be rash, my young friend. You may not like the result. Rash? Rash? My power cannot be contained. Now watch and learn. Well, he was right, in a way. He escaped, after a fashion. Poor lad. His power could be contained after all. Just not within his own body. Uh, brutal. Mort the wizard. Uh, uh, sorry, Morty. Uh, <laughs> that was a real bad idea. Uh, is one of you a rogue? I think these are mostly fighty types. Wizard, Kensai, Wizard Slayer, Cleric Illusionist. Yeah, none of you, I think, can open anything around here. Yes? I don't suppose you have, uh, knock, do you? Maybe, hopefully. No, it doesn't look like it. All right, that's fine. I guess. Yes, without doubt. All right, I guess we have some area to explore. Trust you have no hostile intentions. Quit your jibbering and listen up. All performers are to report to the banquet hall for the welcoming feast. Performers? Welcoming feast? The cook's really outdone himself this time, so enjoy. For some of you, it will be your last meal. Now get going! You dare try to command Hort in dearth? I'll rip you open and strangle you with your own entrails. Strangling your enemy with their own entrails. A classic. <laughs> Try it. You won't get three steps before you slice the ribbons. Now go eat your Come dinner. On. Some of these guards aren't fit to wield a steak knife, much less a sword. True, but there are many of them. And the spellcasters among us have been rendered powerless. Better to bide our time and gather information. I'd expect such cowardice from a drow. And I such wisdom from an orc. <laughs> That's it. 
I could use a fight and need no excuse to kill a drow. Calm yourself. You actually growled a few two-syllable words there. You don't want to break your brain now, do you? I like this guy. Enough. You aren't fighting anyone, orc. Not yet. And you, drow, save the wit for the arena. I'll not say it again. On your way. Might as well. Food is food. But I believe a feast was mentioned. Proceed south to the banquet hall. You can't miss it. supposed to multi-class somebody, somebody at some point in time. How many of you are humans? Uh, female human monk. Check. Female human inquisitor. Awful good. You're not dual classing anytime soon. Half orc. Also not dual classing. Half orc. Also not dual classing. Human wizard slayer. You are definitely dual classing. <laughs> And given your dexterity, probably to a rogue. You, you're already a multi-class. Uh, Look at the good. So, up to fifth level spells. <sighs> what a shabby strength there. Increase effectively draws the strength of her god and lends it to the target creature. Uh, stuff and things. I don't want to read all that. 18 double zero. I don't think that benefits anyone in my group. Where's my vodka? There we go. yet. Go to the banquet hall before I get prickly on your arse. <laughs> uh, classic. It's an in-joke, you see. It's supposed to be funny. Laugh at it. What is my... It shall be. Yes, without doubt. Declare yourself. You heard the orders, get to the banquet hall. Where am I? Portal said to say nothing till you meet the boss. Off with you! Whatever. Well, I'm guessing this is the banquet hall. It looks like plot stuff is happening. Come in, come in and take your seats. This is a wonderful day for you all. The beginning of a new life as a hero fit for the epics. Or a villain, perhaps. Equally fit for the bards to sing of. The choice is yours. Oh. But I get ahead of myself. Introductions are in order. I am Quartermaster Tidal, your new best friend and advocate as you embark upon your path to fame, fortune, and yes, even immortality. Oh, my Tamora's dice. Give it a rest already. Rattle, did you say something? No? <laughs> Keep it that way. Yeah. So, where was I? Oh, yes. I am Quartermaster Title, friend to the famous, mentor to the mighty, Grand Vizier of all. He was right, Turtle. I don't have all day. Oh, yes. Of course, sir. <laughs> Uh, everyone, this is Denitin, Master of the Arena. 
His wealth is unending. His largesse unmatched. His... Silence, fool. Uh, uh hmm. sir. As you wish, sir. Right away, sir. As Turtle said, I am Denaton. I own the arena you are now a part of, a very special arena. This is no pit filled with poorly trained slaves stabbing each other for the amusement of the lowborn. Oh, you're a different kind of slave, pen. Proceed. No, this arena, my arena, is unique. There is nothing like it in all of Farron. I'm sure. Each of you have been chosen because each of you is a legend. You are among the greatest warriors, assassins, and archmages the world has ever known. Your fame will attract those elements of Thean society that truly matter to my arena. The entertainment you provide will let me turn their wealth into my wealth. I mean, our wealth, of course. This is a partnership. I need you, and you me. So... <coughs> So long as you perform and entertain our audience, you will live a life of comfort, even opulence. Uh, you expect us to kill each other for you and your patron's amusement. You won't be fighting each other, at least not often. That would be counterproductive. You are the prize horses, not the mules. For, now. for most fights, you'll be pitted against useless fodder. A few ogres, perhaps, or a group of Cormirian criminals I rescued from the gallows. You'll easily win, but your job is to put on a show. Suck the audience in. Make your opponent's deaths as entertaining as possible. Play with them. Disembowel them in a new and inventive way that displays your expert swordplay and really shows your creativity. Have fun with it! If you enjoy the slaughter, the audience will too. No. Allow me to introduce you to each other. First, hailing from the Ten Towns, we have the mighty warrior, Voghill Navast. Navast? What is this? I have never used such a nickname. Ah, fine. It fits. <laughs> Excellent. And over here, we have a man of the gods and for the people. A man for whom battle and honor are not just words, but a way of life. Yes, it's Timoth the Champion Goodtree. This That's the spirit, Timoth. Oops. Play that destroy the heathens angle up a bit. The crowds will suck it in. Next up <laughs> is a man of the cloth. Okay. A man whose love of Lathander burns bright as the emerging dawn. Yet one who yearns to see the wretched cast into the darkness of the abyss. I give you Brother Elrish of the Sun Soul. The pits of despair seem darkest to those who will not see. Indeed. We could all benefit from such... Well, let's call it wisdom. <laughs> Burn! The lion alone can have no pride. Right. <laughs> Next, we have a woman eager to be judge, jury, and executioner. Equally happy protecting the weak and punishing the guilty. A woman whose name is so great she needs no nickname. It's Mercy White Dove. By what right do you imprison us? Think of yourselves as my guests, my dear. And of the arena as an inn. I guess. An inn for people who fight and kill others for money and entertainment. Next is a wizard of deceptive power. His aging body may seem past its prime, but his mind is sharp as any blade. I give you Dulf, the ancient threat Ebonbeard. Huh? What? Well, where am I? Who are you? Don't let that <laughs> act fool you. Very cagey is the ancient threat. Uh, I need vodka. Ugh. All right. Next, we have a woman whose deeds are so well known, you hardly need mentioning. A woman legendary for prowess and gladiatorial combat. I give you the champion of Bela's Pit, Britta! What, no nickname for me? Of course you shall have one. How about the Ravager? No, 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 no. Infinite Desolation. No, I don't like that. Of course, you are the Scourge of Paloth. Uh, seems obvious, but... Right. With that cleared up, we can turn to the show itself. As a great bird once said, all the world's a stage. 
and all of us merely players, each of us in our time will merely play, will play many parts. So now we decide which part each of you shall play. Our main star will be Britta, who is already well known as a champion of the arena. You're joking! I'm the greatest warrior here. The glory should be mine. You, the greatest warrior? Greatest halfling warrior, maybe. But that still only makes you half the warrior I am. Half the warrior you are? What? You ate a fighter who wasn't a drunken fat ass? <laughs> uh... I conquered the nightmares. An entire clan of orcs wiped out in an afternoon. No. Oh. You kill orcs, do you? Maybe you'd like to try me out, you ale-drenched whale. Ew. Back off, orc. He's on the list. You can kill him when I'm finished. The list. Oh, good. Finally, some entertainment. No matter how well we're treated, we're ultimately just slaves who live and die at the whims of our master. Poignant. Enough talk. More killing! Bring it on, baboon! To the pain! Oh. Stand still and fight! You cannot comprehend the pain I shall inflict upon you! Winged, come forth! I command you! That was horse death blow! Stand down, mortals! And the bigger they are, the harder I beat on them! <laughs> Okay. I trust the point is clear to even the dimmest among you. Obey me, or face the winged's wrath. That's it then. You ingrates have ruined your feast. I hope you enjoyed it. You'll get no more food until you've earned it in the arena. Speaking of which, when any of you finally do decide you're ready to fight, you'll find me amidst the merchant stalls just to the east of here. Speak to me to get in on the action. Claggedon's beard, look at this. I'll be work ruined by you donkeys. Do you have any idea what it takes to be, uh, make braised nuff, sir? Arabelle with broccoli, root, gleam, and shellfish vinaigrette. That was pure art. Where was the peanut sized rat skirt off to his hole? More like, Tarsal, you vermin! Come out and face me, you lobster Arabelle! You'll be avenged! Interesting. Uh, journal. Okay. Tartle is Denneton's de facto lieutenant here in the pits. He likes to remind everyone as often as possible he's the one to see when I'm ready to face the Make your own night! Fifteen thousand, huh? Okay. Aggressive bard, huh? Is there even such a thing? Okay. What is it? Uh, weapon merchant. Greetings! How may I? Wait a second. Do I know you? Oh no, it's me, Brenda. What are you doing here? We set up shop brewing potions, just like always. Ah, uh, potions to make you stronger, quicker, and smarter. We even have potions to catch the eye of the ladies and the gentlemen. Doesn't have much use here, though. But we can make them! Okay, let's have a look. Oh, wow, okay, yeah, uh, plenty of, uh, plenty of potions. Hello, Mercy. State your business and be off. I've matters to attend to. Something you'd ask, uh, something to ask you some I questions. I shall give you some time. Prove yourself worthy of it. Uh, 
Who are you? I am the most just and merciful white dove, doombringer of horror. You may call me Mercy. Oh, I know that god. Um, it's a god of vengeance. Uh, tell me what things warrant your attention. I am set apart to wander Farron. I seek those justice has overlooked, whether they be an impoverished farmer uncompensated for a wrong, or a wealthy merchant who has escaped his just sentence through cunning designs. As a doombringer, I meet out justice in those places where lords and landowners have grown lax in their duty. I bring order to the rugged, careless roads whose vagrant ruffians know not the censure of the magistrate. An unenviable task, but I guess someone's got to do it. Thank you for your time. May you find justice or retribution, as the case may be. Indeed. I think she's a party member if I was, uh... <coughs> Ugh, playing the game solo. I should try that at some point in time. The fair folk rarely have time for small talk. Hello, the name's Hugh Greenleaf. I've made armor made by the finest smiths from Waterdeep to Caracteur. I've scoured all Faron for the best, so buy it with confidence. Uh, I have 15,000, so I can't spend too much on... Full play battle if only. Man, why does plate mail have to be so bloody expensive? Fine. Magic item merchant. Uh, hey, are you the same Illithid from Baylos Arena? I'll take that as a yes. Uh, what even is that? Class plus one. Generation. Oh, not bad. Elsbane. Okay, missile and piercing attacks. What is that? What would? Why would that even be like Elsbane? Like, elves are typically using, uh, rapiers or whatever. Dale's protector. Taco plus two with missile weapons. And the brawling hands. Cryptability is dexterity 18. I already have dexterity 18. Oh, uh, that seems useful. So snaring. So yeah, naturally there's a lot of useful abilities there. Let's see what kind of weapons we have. I'm assuming you are the weapons guy. I need a swig of some strong dwarven ale. Hmm. Okay. I think I'll spend most of my money on... Ooh, there's an arrow of detonation. <sighs> I need a refill of my vodka. <laughs> Stanil Airborne. Oh, hello. You speak to me, I suppose? Salutations are certainly suitable in this social situation. Query me quickly. You seem familiar. We've met before. You find my phonetics familiar. Please indulge my egotistic interest and inform me who speaks so similarly to the simple scribe. A king, perhaps a lord of the great city. 
as lord of a pits such as these. If he was a king, then I'd dethrone him as Baloth the Entertainer. Ah, yes. <laughs> Through a certain sister's second servant's son, we are somehow siblings. No doubt the similarity of speech springs from our sires. Baloth is a gifted and generous businessman. You were lucky to have made his uh, acquaintance. My experience, siblings rarely speak so similarly. Extraordinary individuals exhibit extraordinary traits, and my antecedents were extraordinary in the extreme. Now, excuse me, I have writing to attend to. It has been a while. So I guess at some point in time I should actually, like, buy stuff. I guess I'll eventually do some kind of battle. Quick spotted guard. I have things to do. One not being sitting on me duffer talking to you. Yeah, no business in the kitchen. Get out of here now. Your chatter is starting to wear on me nerves. Oh, here comes another lamb for the slaughter. What do you want? What is this place? It's your world now. You sleep in your bunk, eat well, cook, fight for your life. If you're good and lucky, you might keep it a while. Kitchen and banquet and hall of mine. Upstairs is the hunters. All that goes up there is food and drink and the bloody noosers. If you want to poke about, go see the Mertons or the clerics. Better yet, Keep to the lounge or training hall. And the arena, of course. Anything else? Here you. I'm the bleeding chef. If it wasn't for me, you'd be nothing good to eat. None of you would, the hunters upstairs or the slaves below. Paris, never find you laying around me kitchen, poking at me pots, complaining about your food. You look at the I look at me crossways and ye answer to him. I could fry you and your friends a dozen ways. Stay out of the kitchen. Anything else? That's all. No better than ask any way out. I am happy not. No, I'm not. Marduk. Shh. Now he is. Hey. No talking to the help. They've got pots to clean, you know. Later, ma'am, we'll quit yammering and get back to the work. Do you want to feel me spoon on the back of your heads again? You're rather outlandish Shh, about to be wandering here. round here. Hello, I'll master. be of help to you, if I can. Hey there, friend. How are you doing? Well, no, thanks. Farewell. Okay. I don't have a rogue in the party. Oh, hey there, wine vinegar. Soap alcohol and rat poison. Oh, all this stuff is locked and I don't have a rogue. Who thought this party makeup was a good idea? Declare yourself! You think you should show me some of those moves you use in the arena? I haven't even been to the arena yet. You're terrible.
What are you looking at? You tired of having eyes in their sockets? Because they won't be there long if you don't look elsewhere. Why would you do something like that? Because I'm good at it. Why don't you open your mouth and tell me what you want before I drastically change your outlook on the world? You got five seconds. Whoa, easy. I just want to know who you are. Veldrak Veldraki. The Fiend, Denneman calls me. You heard of the Mirabar Massacre? That was mine. Murders of Malford? That was mine too. Ah. The drowning of the Deepwash, the killing of Kingsdale, the hanging of Hargrove, the beating of Belveston, and the burning of Browsewaite. All mine. All on the list. The list? What's that? Never heard of the list, huh? Not surprised. Most who know about the list end up on the list. And those on the list don't live long enough to talk about the list. That's what the list is for. Helps me remember who's getting X next. Uh, I don't think I'm dumb enough to say that one. Uh, I didn't much to know about that. <laughs> okay, I guess I'm going to be leaving now. I'm guessing you use the list because your memory is as short as you are. Uh, you know what? That's fine. Yeah, that's right. Walk away. It's the smart thing to do. And I am a smart one. Hey, talking instead of training. Typical amateur. You newcomers are always wasting time talking, eating, sleeping, plotting. Take a lesson from a professional. Spend your time honing your combat skills. You'll live longer that way. Amateur, what do you mean by you that? You and the other newcomers. You've never been gladiators before. Spent your lives training to battle before the crowd. You lack the discipline and determination of a true master of the arena. If you were a true professional, we wouldn't even be having this conversation. We would both be training in the gym, but since you are an amateur here, we stand talking and wasting valuable training time. Talking to you is definitely a waste of time. I will remember your words when we meet in the arena. You will find that my blade is much sharper than your tongue. Indeed. I am Horty of Dirth, first of the Bone Scars. My arms count 29 scar rings. I am the many scarred warrior of my clan. Three females lie in my hut. Indeed. Uh, I would know more about you, Horn Ill to Earth, first of the bone scars. Horse does not speak to those who are without scars, and you are female. Females are not warriors, they bear the children of warriors. I'm going to murder you in your face. They say you are a great warrior, but how do I know it is true? You do not wear the scar rings, it's because I'm not a loser. Prove yourself, then maybe I... Or Ildur, first of the bone scars, will speak with you. I soon realize that I can hold my own in the arena. Pray you never face me in the arena. I will enjoy shame. The anger in your voice is a warrior's rage. You may prove to be one still. And I meant what I said. I am going to murder you in your oh. stupid face. Hello there. You're looking for title. He's normally in the merchant area. Thanks, I'll look from there. I'm sure there's other stuff I could talk about with him, but at the top uh but at the moment I'm not going to do that. Uh where am I going? Come on. Go places. Wonderful. Another person I'm sure won't prove to be hopelessly dull and predictable has come to speak with me. Oh, sarcasm from a drow. Shopping. Sarcasm? You wound me. Uh, not yet I have. Oh, what a retort. I'll have to steal it. I like you. 
You were saying Kestamachin. That is your name, correct? You were saying... Well, what were you saying? Actually, my name is Gizim Tidemin. I was talking about how violent heat causes empyromatic salts in the beetroot. Hmm. You know, I'll have to reflect on that. You have a visitor. Oh, uh, hello. Uh, have you been standing there long? Gazmithin and I were... Well, we were having an edifying discussion about the, uh, well, something. I love the old wizard. He's the only one who has anything worthwhile to say in this place. So, young one, uh, uh, you, you wanted to speak to me about something? Uh, how did you end up here, Master Evan Beard? So, uh, Ghoul Raven. Uh, yeah, about the beetroots, empyromatic, uh, empyromatic uh, salts. Those, those, those salts. Seems the old man's already forgotten about you. I can't say I blame him. Go to the merchants and see if they have Togan Salva Sina Serenity. I should help him focus if only briefly. I am Sir Timothy Goodtree, Knight of the Order of the White Sun, Champion of Tempest. I slew the demon Ormius in the Battle of Arkenbridge. I see you arrived with the rest of us. I don't know about you, but I have no intention of remaining here long. Mm, I don't understand how we got captured, but those were bounty hunters really so strong. There's nothing to gain in lamenting the past. What matters is what we do now. I will study our enemy. The guards, Denneton, the Winged, and her followers all have weaknesses we can take advantage of, and that they are no different from any other opponent. Did Denneton capture I you? I was defending a village on the Delambir River against a band of raiding orcs. We had little more than a score of warriors at my command, but we were trained in fighting men and women all. We were formed a shield wall, seven wide and three deep, blocking the only trail to the village. Fascinating. I love tales of I stood in the center of the first line, my shield locked with those of my comrades left and right, a short sword in my free hand. In the shield wall, there is no room to swing a long blade. A hundred orcs or more charged us, as orcs will. A motley crew in complete disarray. Some wielded nothing more than sticks, others had dented helmets and rusty swords. That is the ecstasy of Garagos. Glorious must have been their rage. Ah, uh, Garagos. Lawful evil. We met their charge. The line shook, but our feet were well planted and our wall held. They stood no chance. And then how are you made a prisoner here? Suddenly, in front of me, I saw the planetar. I did not know where she came from. She raised her sword and spread her wings. The air rippled in silent explosion. All those around us, human and orc alike, fell as one. I understood she was challenging me to single combat. We traded blows for I know not how long. I've never met a fighter as skilled as she. Eventually, she brought me to one knee and put her sword's tip to my neck. I had no chance but to yield. Her companions put me in shackles. The next thing I knew, I was here. Take my leave now. You're rather outlandish. Uh, greetings, folk, greetings. Wandering around here. Good fortune brings you my humble shrine. Bizarre view of what constitutes good fortune, friend. Uh, you know what they say, fate fortune favors the bold. Uh, the performers who live say that. The rest sort of lie on the ground, gasping for air until the monsters finish them off. Uh, trying to cheer me up. You aren't really helping. Oh, yes, yeah, so am I. I forgot myself, haven't I? I am. Mosan, Priest of Tamora, I provide healing temple services and spiritual guidance to our performers. 
also keep the ceremonial ale and try to keep the other pe priests from killing each other. Uh, can I see your temple services? Oh, hi, yes. There's our inventory. Uh, good to know. Definitely good to know. I'm assuming I have no actual equipment. Let her keep that. Uh, Mephistus D12 damage. Okay. Don't touch me. Stay back. Relax, friend. I mean you they don't said have... they'd help me. Lies. There is no one here who can help me. Here or anywhere. Jared's talking about the planner hunters. They tricked me. The winged said she knew someone who could teach me to control the fire, the explosions, all the magic that comes out of me. I've burned down villages, killed hundreds of innocent people, turned flocks of sheep into rattlesnakes and farmers into chickens. Oh, what about hilarious? I've had enough of it. Nobody. I'm guessing you're a wild mage. Right, Gerald. Tamora loves you. Your unpredictability is beautiful in her eyes. Thank you, Molzan. I do hope she smiles upon me. Someone's got to, surely. Why did the hunters bring you Certainly here? not to help me. I suspect they are dead and thought it would be entertaining to have a wild mage in the arena. Indeed. Good luck. Alright, I guess I'll actually buy some equipment or something. Let's see who I'm up against. Uh, nothing pertinent, certainly. Look a guy from Grumsh! I do not have my sheep with all these characters' proficiencies. Oh, I am starting to feel the effects of all the alcohol I've been drinking, so... Uh, I'm definitely feeling a bit drunk. So, because there are definitely some kind of heavy armor, uh, two-bladed sword, halberd, or crossbow. Two-bladed sword it is. Speak. Certainly. I need a swig of some strong dwarven ale. Boomerang tagger. Sword of Valderon. Even does that. Magic resistance, lore bonus, uh, plus two weapon. Meh. Meh, I say about that. So. I'll buy plus one. Spider Spain is so expensive. I use some kind of crossbow. Uh, heavy crossbow, definitely. Uh, let's see if we can find some bolts. I think I have 82. Let's be fine, I think. 
yeah. This is fine. So, what kind of weapons does Loma use? Longbow. Longbow it is. And a spear. Yes? Without Why doubt. Moradin's hammer? Longbow. Longbow. There we go. Longbow plus one. How much money do I have? I don't even know. Spear. 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 Staff. There we go. Spear. Uh, what kind of money do I have? Am I am I broke yet? Where's my muns? I only have 3697. What that kind of crap is that? Alright, that's fine. Two weapon cell. Uh pair of axes then. What is it? Me timber bad enough without ye bother on me. Spending all of my money on uh, short bow and quarter staff. I need a swig of some strong dwarven ale. Well, not buying any more magic items, that's for certain. <sighs> this is what happens when I get myself drunk. Flail, Morning Star, Spear, Order Staff. There we go. And what about you, Magic Man? Ace and sling. On my honor. Can you make can't you make yourself a magic thing? Seriously, isn't that one of my spells? Yes. Um, 
Speak. It will be done. Alright, so we're kind of, uh, no armor, obviously, but you, heavy armor, heavy armor, no armor, and heavy armor. The fair folk rarely have time for small talk. Uh, let's see what kind of armor we can get for everybody. Smut nail, buclear. Uh <coughs> Okay. Um Armor class four. Armor class five. I guess split nail for everybody. Using two handed weapons. I don't think anyone is able to use shields. But you're proficient in longbows. What the heck? Okay. I think that's you. No, that's not. I certainly don't care. So, you were the one with the uh, spear and longbow. Yeah, okay. This is low mass stuff. You're a bad person for stealing all of his things. that I ever lose and He, of course, gets nothing because he is a loser. So, Kensai, I yes. need certain help. times are upon us. Thing. Do I have any money left? Thirteen gold. What is it? All right, I guess I'm Without done. Doubt. All right, I guess next time I'll be ready to engage in some gladiatorial arena combat. Thanks for joining me, everyone. Take care and see you next time.